Some of the more popular comments I get from Flat Earthers go something like this. Make a video on Eric Debay. Of course you won't because he's far more intelligent than you. Or take on a real Flat Earther like Debay. He would smash you in a debate. And of course I always point out that I've already made a video on Eric Debay, but I think it's time I had another crack. Hello everyone and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan, an absolute pleasure to have you. Yes, despite the Dubai fans' confidence, he has yet to reply to any of the correspondence I've sent him. Perhaps after today's video, he might. Let's find out. This time we're taking on a video of his entitled, Dear Spinning Ball Earth Believer. Now, as I am one of those, I will take this as a personal message. Away you go, Eric. Hello, my name is Eric Dubay, and I'm a flat earther. Well, yes indeed, which is why we are here. Contrary to what you have been told to believe about me by the mainstream media, the government education system, and society in general, I am not an idiot, uneducated, or a religious zealot. Ha! <laughs> um, the mainstream media, the government education system, and society in general don't even know who you are, Eric. Your heightened sense of self-importance is nauseating. I am a college graduate, spent seven years teaching at a prestigious university, have published five books, and I'm not a follower of any religion. Yet you still think the Earth is flat. I've got some news for you, Eric. Publishing a book doesn't mean you know anything about Earth science. This guy did it. Need I say more? I was once a spinning ball earth believer like yourself. In fact, the only difference between spinning ball earthers and flat earthers is that flat earthers have done their research. <laughs> oh my days, the irony. There are many differences actually. Flat earthers can't think in 3D, except when they are wrong, understand motion, understand acceleration, understand angular velocity, read a science book, do physics, do maths, see others' point of view, accept they've been duped, believe anything that is remotely scientific. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Of course, however, you will be told the opposite, that flat earthers are uneducated morons, unaware of modern scientific theories. But the reality is, every flat earther is well educated regarding the spinning ball earth fantasy presented by NASA, taught in schools, and accepted as gospel truth by the gullible masses. No, they aren't. They misunderstand and misinterpret almost every single thing about physics and the earth. It's actually quite amusing. Oh, and I've never once called any of them a moron. In fact, you'll find the average flat earther is far more knowledgeable about the spinning ball earth we are supposedly living on than the average spinning ball earth believer. Sleeping Warrior thinks that eclipses happen every month. Phuket Word thinks the firmament is made out of liquid gas. And Bob from Globebusters... A 15 degree per hour drift. Thanks Bob. What he knows about light, you can fit on the head of a needle. This is because flat earthers are all people who attempted to prove for themselves whether or not Earth is the way modern scientific and astronomical theory preaches, and discovered that it most certainly is not. No, I would say they were conned into believing something, and in doing so found a community that they didn't want to leave. They crave to belong. There are hundreds of proofs and scientific experiments which have conclusively shown the Earth to be a stationary plane but you have never and will never hear about these heavily censored experiments in our controlled media. You never hear of the Mickelson-Morley, Mickelson-Gale, Sagnac, Cantor and Airy experiments, for example, all of which proved the Earth to be motionless. Our survey said... <coughs> no, they don't. I will leave links in the description where you can see videos on all these experiments and have a look yourself. You also never hear of the Robotham, Blunt or Carpenter experiments, all of which proved the Earth to be a level plane devoid of any curvature. Instead, you are repeatedly shown NASA images of a spinning ball Earth and astronauts in zero-g space, 
You are told the oceans curve around and stick to the underside of a spinning ball, thanks to Newton's magical gravity. Newton doesn't own gravity, he just discovered what it is. And NASA has existed for only 60 years or so. This photo was taken pre-NASA, 1946 to be precise, and is the first photo of Earth ever. Is this fake too? You are told Eratosthenes measured shadows to prove the ball, and Magellan circumnavigated the ball. Again, us flat earthers are well aware of the supposed proofs and alleged evidence we are given regarding the spinning ball earth fantasy. The difference is, we have further analyzed these supposed proofs and found glaring holes in them even larger than the size of NASA's annual budget. No, you've analyzed them, misunderstood them, came up with your own crackpot theories regarding it, and then churned out a load of videos on that topic. I have personally debunked every such claim of supposed spinning ball earth evidence I could find in my book The Flat Earth Conspiracy. Personally debunked. Lol. And also compiled 200 proofs earth is not a spinning ball in my book of the same title. All of which have been debunked by many, many people. Rhetoric and Discourse has done like the first 100. Check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. They're good. I will not reiterate myself here as you can read these online for free now in over a dozen languages, but suffice to say, there is no aspect of the spinning globe model that stands up to critical scrutiny, and every alleged proof offered is easily refuted. The spinning globe, and every argument used to defend it, is simply pseudoscience masquerading as truth. It's so easy to just say that science is pseudoscience. Flat earthers do it all the time, with literally zero proof as to why. The pictures and videos presented to the public by NASA and other government space agencies are as real as a Hollywood motion picture and as scientific as science fiction. Science facts, on the other hand, prove the flat Earth. I've said this before, but I don't really know what you want from NASA. You ask for photos for proof and then cry fake when they don't fit your opinion. And rest assured, Eric, this is exactly what this is, just your opinion. For example, it is the natural physics of all fluids to remain perfectly level and flat until disturbed in some way. Is it though? If dammed up and released, all liquids will quickly disperse in every unobstructed direction until finding their new level. This ever-present, never-broken law of physics is so reliable that builders use water spirit levels to level all their constructions. He doesn't even know that he's talking about gravity. Amazing. When you look out at the sea horizon, from as high as amateur balloons and rockets have ever gone, the water line always remains completely level and flat. If, however, the Earth is a spinning ball as NASA and modern astronomy claim, then somehow the massive oceans must all in defiance of physics curve thousands of miles around an irregular pear-shaped oblate spheroid. In reality, Measurements have been repeatedly taken throughout history until modern times using lasers, levels, sextants, and theodolites to test for the Earth's supposed curvature and every time have proven what our eyes and experience tell us to be true. The Earth simply does not curve downwards 8 inches per mile squared as dictated by spherical trigonometry and NASA's own calculations for a globe Earth 24,900 miles in equatorial circumference. 8 inches per mile squared is actually just a rough guideline. This basketball is round, but when we get really close to the surface and zoom in, oh look, look at that. We are insignificant in size to the Earth, therefore it looks flat just like this basketball does. Does it mean the basketball is flat though? No. Does it mean the Earth is flat? No. This mythical curvature exists only in the fisheye lens footage they constantly film and the fake CG images of Earth they constantly propagate. Now, dear spinning ball Earth believer, there is much more you must learn and even more that you must unlearn to understand fully the depth of this deception. It will take more than just a few minutes of flat Earth research to overcome a lifetime of indoctrination, but I implore you to do just that. Try and prove to yourself whether or not the spinning ball earth we are taught to believe since kindergarten is in fact a reality. I have watched a lot of flat earth videos. I've, what you would say, done my research. And I can assure you all that it is complete and utter hogwash. 
I can speak on behalf of every flat earther when I say that's exactly what we did. We did our due diligence in researching and proving one way or the other whether this seemingly flat, motionless plane we all stand upon is actually a tilting, wobbling, rotating and revolving, pear-shaped oblate spheroid hurtling around the sun. Or whether everything is actually just as it seems. Water always remains level and flat. The horizon always remains level and flat. The earth is motionless, just as it seems, and the sun, moon, and stars all revolve over and around us, just as it appears. Well, if you understand physics and don't get scammed by internet con artists, then you should see Flat Earth for what it really is. A bunch of grown adults that either are pretending to believe in it for whatever reason, or have got no understanding whatsoever about the natural world. I encourage you to please explore this fascinating subject for yourself by viewing the many other Flat Earth documentaries and interviews on my YouTube channel and visiting the International Flat Earth Research Society at ifers.123.st. Thank you. Or you could spend an hour standing on one leg in the middle of Trafalgar Square wearing clothes that are made entirely out of birdseed. That would be more fun and more interesting, and more useful. Right, that wraps up another episode of Flat Earth Friday. Thank you very, very much for joining me. And Eric, if you're watching, please do get in touch. If you enjoyed today's video, then please, please do like and subscribe. I have been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great weekend, and I'll see you all on Sunday for another Science Top 5. See you then. <laughs>